Beneath a windswept bluff near the town of Wilsall, Montana, a team of construction workers unearthed what would become one of the most extraordinary archaeological finds in North American history. Hidden under layers of earth lay the fragile skeleton of a young boy, carefully buried in red ochre, a sacred mineral pigment often used in ancient rituals. Scattered around him were finely crafted stone tools and spear points, unmistakably belonging to the Clovis culture. This child, now known as Anzic I, lived roughly 12,600 years ago, and his remains represent the only known human skeleton ever found associated with the Clovis people. The Clovis culture, named after the site of Blackwater Draw near Clovis, New Mexico, had long symbolized the first great expansion of humans across the Americas. Their tools, elegant, fluted spear points chipped with astonishing precision, date back to between 13,000 and 12,600 years ago. These were not just weapons. They were engineering marvels, designed to pierce the hides of massive Ice Age creatures like mammoths and mastodons. More than 10,000 such tools have been discovered across the continent, from the Atlantic coast to the Pacific, often found beside the remains of animals the Clovis hunted to extinction. But this discovery in Montana was different. Unlike the countless tools, here lay a person, a tangible link to a vanished world. Geneticists extracted DNA from the boy's bones, revealing one of the oldest complete human genomes ever sequenced in the Americas. The results were groundbreaking. They showed that Anzic I shared ancestry with all modern Native Americans, firmly connecting the Clovis people to the first wave of humans who crossed the Bering Land Bridge from Siberia into Alaska thousands of years earlier. Yet the story of the Clovis is not just one of innovation, it's also one of survival and loss. Around 12,900 years ago, Earth plunged into a period of sudden cooling known as the Younger Dryas, or the Big Freeze. The climate shift devastated ecosystems, driving many megafauna species to extinction. As their world collapsed, so too did the Clovis culture. Their tools became the last echoes of a civilization that once thrived across two continents. The Enzik family had granted permission for a gravel pit to be dug near a rocky cliff. What started as routine construction unearthed something profound. Fragments of human bones scattered amid a trove of stone tools. Two construction workers stumbled upon the remains of not one, but two individuals, later named Anzik I and Anzik II after the family. Yet only Anzik I would gain worldwide attention, while the second, Anzik II, was too fragmented for deeper study. The site, now known as Anzik, became the only known Clovis burial ever found in the Americas. The bones were small, fragile, and coated in a rusty red pigment known as ochre. They were carefully gathered along with about 125 stone artifacts. Due to restrictions, few images of the human remains remain in public archives, and those that exist are obscure. The infant, called Anzik I, is believed to have been no older than 18 months when he passed away. His tiny skeleton was incomplete, but sufficient for careful scientific study. According to radiocarbon dating estimates, his burial took place roughly 12,600 years ago, a time period scientists associate with the final phase of the Clovis culture. His exact cause of death is unknown, but his people did not abandon him. They wrapped him in hides, dusted him with red ochre, a natural mineral pigment, and laid him to rest with care beneath their tools. For decades, the Anzic remains were preserved at Texas A&M University, studied occasionally through anthropology and dating methods. But in the 2010s, a revolution in ancient DNA research, powered by next-generation sequencing, opened a new window of discovery. Researchers from Texas A&M and Montana State University, along with Sarah Anzic, a member of the family who had been a child at the time of discovery and later became a molecular biologist, began working to sequence Anzic I's genetic code. It wasn't easy. The bones had endured Montana's harsh freeze-thaw cycles for thousands of years, leaving the DNA heavily fragmented. Authenticity tests confirmed the DNA was truly ancient, showing natural signs of age-related damage. Through persistence and precision, scientists finally succeeded, achieving one of the earliest complete genome sequences of an ancient North American individual. The results were remarkable. Anzic I's maternal DNA, passed from mother to child, belonged to haplogroup D4H3A, a lineage still found among certain Native American groups along the Pacific coast today. Yet here it appeared inland, in Montana, prompting researchers to rethink theories about early migrations. His Y chromosome, the paternal marker, belonged to QL54, one of the founding lineages among Native American men, which scientists estimate diverged from its Asian relatives about 16,900 years ago, according to current models. To verify these findings, scientists used outgroup F3 statistics, a method to measure how much genetic history two groups share with a distant reference population. The data showed that Anzic I shared more genetic similarity with 52 modern Native American populations than with any other group studied, but the most profound insights came from what scientists describe as the full genome, the complete set of over three billion DNA letters found in the remains. According to researchers, 
The results suggest that this child may share genetic similarities with many of today's Native American populations, especially those in Central and South America, such as the Caritiana of Brazil or the Maya descendants. However, around 20% of the genetic patterns studied did not align perfectly with this lineage, which scientists interpret as a possible sign of other ancient migrations or distinct groups that once lived in North America. The data also indicated a genetic distinction between Native American populations that seems to have begun even before the Clovis period. Researchers observed that Central and South American groups appeared more closely linked to Anzic I's DNA, while Northern populations like the Cree, Ojibwa, and Algonquin seem to have branched off earlier. These genetic studies also contributed to an old scientific discussion about the origins of the Clovis culture. For many years, one theory held that the Clovis people descended from populations in Asia who crossed the Bering Land Bridge roughly 15,000 years ago. Another, more controversial theory, called the Solutrean Hypothesis, proposed that their ancestors might have come from southwestern Europe during the Ice Age. However, when scientists compared Anzic I's DNA with that of both modern and ancient groups, they found no link supporting the European theory. Instead, they observed genetic similarities with ancient Siberian populations, particularly a 24,000-year-old individual discovered near Lake Baikal in Siberia. Based on this, researchers concluded that the Clovis people most likely descended from early Asian migrants who reached the Americas thousands of years before the Clovis era. However, this does not necessarily mean that the earliest people to reach the Americas came only through the Bering Land Bridge. Archaeological discoveries continue to suggest that human presence in the Americas may go back even further. Sites such as Monte Verde in Chile, dated to around 14,500 years ago, and the human footprints found at White Sands, New Mexico, estimated between 21,000 and 23,000 years old, indicate that humans were already living on these lands long before what scientists call the Clovis culture appeared. As for the Anzic remains, after DNA studies showed similarities with modern Native American populations, the remains were respectfully returned. In 2014, following the publication of the genome study and the collection of final samples, the Anzic child was reburied in Montana, close to the place where he was first discovered. Even so, his discovery continues to hold great scientific importance. The Anzic child remains the only individual ever found whose DNA is associated with what researchers identify as the Clovis tradition, offering clues about how ancient peoples in North America may have been related to later communities. While these findings reflect scientific interpretation and not absolute historical fact, they have provided valuable insight into early human migrations. As technology improves and new discoveries emerge, researchers may continue to uncover more details about how early peoples traveled, settled, and lived across the ancient Americas.